guys, this is Griffin, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time um, since I have uploaded, actually a month. So it's been an extremely very long time. Um, I've been busy lately, so I haven't been able to upload, but I am back, guys. I am back uploading uh, weekly, probably three times a week. So um, as you can see in the title, or as you already saw in the title, um... Today's video, we're going to talk about set building techniques that you can probably use to get better brick film sets. So I have been very into brick films the last couple of months. So since last year, I have been very addicted to brick filming. It's been just, it's been very fun for me to take little, little fight scenes and tiny little scenes like that and lately i've been thinking about making a major film like a three minute film which makes me sound silly about saying major but really stop motion takes a lot of time it literally takes like 10 minutes to take one uh, one second of film uh so it takes a lot of patience and stuff but we're gonna get to the set itself so, you can't really do a stop motion without a set. You can do it, but it's never going to work. It's going to be, like, look. Okay, so, look. One rule. First rule. Don't care about the wall sticking out or the back, I mean, or like this. Stuff like that. Your viewers are not seeing that. So, um... This is just going to be cut out. This part, when you zoom in to the uh, photo when you're in Stop Motion Studio, you're not going to see this. You're not going to see the bottom. You're not going to see here. You're only going to see that and that. You're not going to see anything more than that. So you're going to see a clean, nice room. For now, it's going to look like a pretty weird, like, sticking out walls and, like, weird stuff here. Don't care about how good this set looks for you. On the inside, of course, try to make it look as best as you can. But on the outside or the bottom of your brick film set, don't care at all. The, the areas surrounding the set, or, like, right here... Doesn't matter, your audience is not gonna see that. So that's point one. Point two, you want to have um, a nice little base plate. So as you can see here, I have a nice little base plate. If I take off the walls, this wall comes off. Um, so it's not looking that great for now, but most of it can be fixed within a minute. So, as you can see, this is part of the wall. I can just store that in a little box. This as well. I can just store that in a little box. It does not matter. You can, um, it doesn't. So basically, look. I have this little base plate, right? Now there's no walls. I can add different colored walls. I can add different furniture. And it's a totally different set. So you can use the same base plate for multiple sets. You can use this wall on this base plate for um, your main character's bedroom. And then you can use some gray walls for a prison cell. Literally anything. You can do anything with this base plate. Um... Unless, of course, you're trying to, like, create, like, a sand pit with this base plate. Maybe that's not going to work. But still, it is ideal. Like, you can add 2x3, um, sand, like, tan, um, tiles if you want. That is ideal, but it's not going to work out as well. So, um, yeah, tip number two is... Try to use the same base plate. That's going to make it way easier and way quicker. So, tip three, the last one. You're going to want to add lots of furniture and, of course, a door. 
Um, so a door is going to matter a lot to your brick film set, unless you're making something like a prison cell or an outdoor thing. When you're making an indoor, uh, say, I want to make a doctor's office, always have at least one door within your set. If you don't, then it's kind of going to look like a little room without a door, kind of like a prison cell or something. You don't want that to happen. You want a door so it looks more like a room, not like a living room or something. So unless you're trying to make a living room or something or a prison cell or something like that, try to have at least one uh, door in your set. Um, fourth tip and the last one is you're going to want to um, <clears throat> have, I said this before, but detachable walls and detachable furniture. Not because you can change change the set. It's also because you can change the, your camera angles and stuff. Ma if you watch many um, good uh, brick filmers, you're going to see a lot of camera movement. Like, for example, if a dude is falling down the screen, the camera is probably going to first start up here and then fall down here as the minifigure is falling down. So it makes it look more action-y. So that's the last um, part of my video, guys. Thanks for watching my video on how to make a better brick film set. And I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And I believe lately they might have changed the COPA rules. I, I don't know for sure. But if you can, try commenting on my video. You can say anything as like, hello, anything like that. So thanks for watching my video and bye. Yeah. Yeah.